Hey everybody, welcome back to Paperboy. It's your host, Dazi. We're talking about our um, injections and needles in relation to testosterone. So no one takes this and clips out of context and thinks I'm talking about um, illegal drug usage. So uh, what I won't share on this video is going to be my um, actual dosage that um, I'm on right now. At the beginning of my medical transition, I did give the information out on one of my first videos. Um, but that is, to me, that's pretty much between, should be between the doctor and patient. Um, there are some guys who do get very desperate and try to go other routes and try to start self-medicating and get their tea illegally, and I'm not going to try to promote that. I know that we're all adults, and any of this information can easily be Googled, and people can still do what they want, but that's the little PSA disclaimer. Um, when I started testosterone, I started with intramuscular injections, and that's still what I do every week. Uh, my shots are every week, so every Wednesday is actually my shot day. Um, that's changed a little bit with top surgery. Um, it was preferred that I stop taking testosterone, uh, like pre-op, and then I resumed um, afterward. I think they told me I could do it the next day, but we waited a few days. Had a lot of stuff going on, um, a lot of medicines, vitamins, drain schedules, stuff like that. So uh, my partner was shown, she oversaw my first tee shot. Um, they did a few of them there at the clinic, and then I had her, or they, um, they watched her and supervised her when she was giving me my shot. And that helped out because my insurance that I had then was covering it. So it was good that she they were able to teach her and let me um, not go in every week in person. And it's, a lot, it's been a lot quicker. Um, it's really weird that I've had multiple piercings. I think on a video I said I had like 20-something piercings. So I've had my snake bites, um, angel kiss snake bites, my labray, uh, ears. I had my cartilage a couple times, um, industrial, my tongue, my nose, all the all these different piercings, but I can't, I haven't yet, I'm not going to say can't, I haven't yet been in a situation where I have, a, have had to administer my own shot. Um, one time I had a friend do my shot for me at work, this was over a year ago, but no one knew what was going on. Um, but yeah, I'm really grateful that my partner does it. I just, I get nervous since I wasn't, and I can watch all the videos on YouTube, I can do all that stuff, um, but I feel more comfortable that someone is able to do that for me. Um, yeah. So, I do, we use a 18 gauge um, needle to draw from, with a syringe from my T-vial and we inject it to 21. Um, I have a note, like a reminder on my phone. Not that I forget when Wednesday is, I mean it's only one out of seven days, but for like the right, the left, just so you alternate your sights um, and don't build up scar tissue. Subcutaneous shots, the sub-Q ones like Sam does are different um, than mine. And not everyone's dosage and script and all that's going to be the same. Some guys do their shots every uh, two weeks, depending on the form. I've seen guys that do their shots, and we'll say like every, some of them said they did theirs every five days. I don't know. All I know is what, um, you know, my deal is. And I'm pretty sure that that's how I guess it should be. The only people I think I have discussed my actual dose with um, are other guys in my city that were going to the same clinic kind of just to know if we were all um, being I guess treated not that we weren't treated correctly but there's a lot of um, turnover in that practice okay uh, see y'all next week hope you had a great one and stay tuned um, Ty is the next guy up to talk to you, and then Cody. All right, bye.